Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So interesting price action this morning in the markets on February 23rd, 2021. We kind of scared the children this morning. We had a pretty decent sell-off this morning, followed by sort of a bounce back recovery where it seems to me like everybody just bought the dip and and on we will continue. So I captured a live trade. So in this video, I'm going to show you my live trade from today on AMD. I'm also going to show you the trade from yesterday that I took. It's not live, but I'm going to show you on the candle action in my IBKR broker. And we'll kind of jump into things there. We'll talk about the markets today and looking forward through the rest of the week. And then if you guys have questions or anything, just drop them in the comments below. Um, I always appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you get any value from this channel or this episode, just go ahead and hit that like button. So let's jump in. I want to show you, actually, let's show you, yeah, let's show you the video. So this is today's trade. So as many of you know, I watch this last pre-market 15-minute candle on my interactive broker trader trading platform. I like to scalp AMD. I only trade AMD to the short side. I've had a lot of questions about how do I decide to go long or short. I don't. I only go short and I go short every single day no matter what's happening. No matter the price action, no matter what the markets are doing, I always go short below the low of the first 15 minute candle. I'm sorry, the last 15 minute candle of the pre-market. So if I hover over this candle, um, actually, I'll show you that on the other screen. Um, this is the 9.15 to 9.30 Eastern Time candle. And you can see that I went ahead and I placed an order. This is a bracket order. If you don't know about bracket orders, I'll put a video here. This will help explain bracket orders a little better. However, this is in Thinkorswim, and this is Interactive Brokers that I'm using now. This is a little older video, but same concept applies. So you can see that I've got my order, this red line, my sell stop order to go short, and then I have a 30 cent stop loss in place and a 75 cent take profit. My goal on this is to have a reward to risk ratio of 2.5 to one. So if I lose this trade, I know I'm gonna lose $360. If I win this trade, I'm gonna make $900. That's, that's the plan, those are the two outcomes. And then of course, as we get into this, I'll show you where I move my stop loss and I could end up with a scratch trade. So there could be a scratch, a loss, or a win. So we'll go ahead and play this now. So you're gonna see that candle open up, kind of a quick drop. I like it when I get a green candle first, like when it's pushing away from my entry, close to the open, because it just makes me feel less susceptible to a quick spike down or a quick whip. So this one's been open for 30 seconds, and what I like about that is it gives volume a time to come in, and it lets that bid-ask spread tighten up really nicely, which helps prevent a lot of slippage. So we're just kind of bouncing around. It tested the low of the 915 candle, but it hasn't broken yet, and you can see my short order is at 82.65, 10 cents below the low of the 915 candle. So we're just watching this thing. I've sped this up a little bit so that it doesn't take a ton of time. But you can see it's dancing and hanging and just kind of trying to decide what to do while the rest of the market was sort of violently pushing down this morning. AMD tried to resist, but then it fell prey to that pressure from the markets. People started to sell and then it dumped and it dumped pretty hard and pretty good as you'll see here in a moment but pushes back up. At this point in my head, I'm thinking, you know, could it go long? Maybe it's not gonna be a short play at all and I won't get triggered. But then it starts creeping, I'm watching it, and there it is. So I'm now short, and I'm just gonna pause for a second. I'm now short 1,200 shares at 82.61 and change. So I took a little over three cents of slippage and I've noticed that's pretty common. I take a little bit of slippage each day on the way down and I don't know that it really matters. I don't really care. It doesn't seem to be affecting my trades a whole lot. Um, you'll see in yesterday's trade, I'll, I'll talk about, I took almost 10 cent slippage because it was a really violent push. And I'll get into that a little bit, but you can see it put my stop loss out 30 cents higher. I've got a 75 cent take profit. And then where the black and red meet on this line, that is my actual fill, that's my entry. So I'm gonna hit play on this. We'll just keep watching it. It pushes down, dances around a little bit, 
And the unique thing about this trade is the number of little partial fills that I got near my target, which kind of makes things a little, a little interesting. Now, if I get 40 cents of profit in my favor, I will move my stop loss to the break even point. You're gonna see that here in a minute. There's the push, so you can see me now over here. I'm now coming up there to pick out my stop loss so that I can move to break even update it. So now it's basically a free trade. If I lose, it's just a scratch. And now I'm hoping that this will get to 81, 86 really quickly. And then we can just end the day with a $900 winner. Now you'll see in a second, down here, I'll get a notification. It's going to say that I got a partial fill. And then if you look up here, you'll see how many shares I got of that partial fill. So it starts to push down. You can see that wick went right down to my target. So there's a partial fill of 267 shares. It pushes away and comes back for 317, then 712, then 1200. So it actually took four fills to get that in place, which is really interesting because it's, um, it's just kind of crazy how it can take a little while to get it. So I just want to watch this one more time. I'm going to count the fills. So it pushes down, we will get the original 267, there's one. Then it goes 317 for two fills. Then 712, oh then 900, then 1200. So it ended up being five fills to buy back my 1200 shares at 81, 85 and change. So a gorgeous trade. Um, I'm going to flip over here real quick and go to my trade so you can see this. But you can see that my, um, let's see, oh, these are the last two days. So this is today, these bottom two lines. So you can see that um, I got short 1,200 shares, and that was $8.47. Oops, sorry, that's the, I'm messing this all up. Top two lines. So I sold $6.65 to get short, and then $6 to cover so I'll just go to the summary where it's a little clearer here. Um, oh, I've got things. Let me just do this real quick. We'll go back to today. There we go. Okay, so $1,200 1200 share short position followed by a cover. And you can see my average sell and buy prices. My commissions today, $12.65. That must have been something liquidity related. There, there are nuances about adding and taking liquidity for the markets. Um, I don't want to get into that right now, but that could be the variance why I paid a slightly less commission today, slightly smaller commission. And then my realized P&L was um, $892 plus this 12. So I made a little over $900 today and happy to pay $12.5 to in order to get these fills because it's so much better than thinkorswim. So very, very excited about that. Trades, now you can see them more clearly. You can see that when my bot to cover, this is how many fills, this is what all the action it took to get me completely filled, which is amazing. You can see some of them were actually a little lower, 8184, 8183. That's very interesting. So it really, it price improved me, which is really nice of IBKR because they, they pride themselves on being able to price improve you when they can, and today must have been an ideal situation to do that. So really good fills, $900 winner, and that was the, uh, that was the play. Um, as you can see, these two triangles, this was my sell, and this was my cover to buy at the point of the triangle. Look how much further. It went basically double what I took out of it. I took out of this little move, but it dropped and then dropped another 50% or 100%. It, it went two times. That's, that's incredible. So really good drop on AMD. And then you can see it completely recovered all the way back up. And now it's sort of just sagged off. This morning's move was really violent. It created a lot of opportunity. And the thing I liked about today's trade with getting short below this last 15 minute candle, which is the 915 candle, was that it created sort of some violence in the down move. That's what I like about these short positions with AMD is that they tend to be more successful for me, meaning greater than 50% of them win because it tends to be a little more violent and scary to the downside.
They, they scare the children when it goes down. People get out and they wait for it to feel cozy before they get back in. So it can create a little more violent move to the downside. Now on IBKR here, if I go to the today and I go last two days, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to ratchet back and let's go check out yesterday. So today was a two and a half R winner. Yesterday was a 1R loser that was disappointing because if you look at what happened, so here's the last candle of the pre-market, and then we opened and we dropped, but the problem with this trade was I got filled, I took my short position, and then you can see the blue can or the blue triangles above the red, meaning I got filled back here at my stop loss. It was just too bouncy and, and sluggish. It just didn't do anything. So it was that up and down, up and down, and then it slowly crept up, and then just triggered me out, and then sort of just hung around, and then dropped, and dropped really fairly low. It never got to my target, or even to really to move my stop loss barely. I think it barely got there, and then it bounced all the way back. So even if I would have had a different stop loss or different mechanics on the trade, it still wouldn't have hit any significant levels before it fully stopped me out. So I don't feel like I need to change anything or consider changing anything about my management style or my approach to the markets because nothing would have stood up against this. Then it rolled over and dumped real nicely later in the day. You can't see that coming, so kind of is what it is. So yesterday was minus one R. Today was a plus two and a half R. So we're up one and a half hours on the week and just rolling along. We'll be back in the morning to uh, continue on. I don't know what this, what this means for the rest of the week. The markets could be pretty wild. We did pull back in the, um, on the NASDAQ to touch the 50 moving average, which I find really interesting because it likes to touch that and then move away. So we'll see what happens there. If you guys have questions about my strategy or what I'm doing, Drop those comments below. If you want to join our Facebook group, hit the link in our in the YouTube banner. Come join our free Facebook group. We're getting we're well over 250 members in there. It's just a free Facebook group where we talk stocks, and it's going really, really well. And I want to thank the community because we're at like 6,200 and I think 30 uh, YouTube subscribers, and that's just mind blowing to me based on where I was a year ago. So. I want to thank everybody so, so much. The community has been really supportive and really great. And I love all the trade ideas that we're kicking up. So um, exciting to be part of all this. So thank you again. Drop a comment below. If you're new to the channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you got any value out of this, consider hitting that like button. And if you want to track your trades, which a video is coming after the first of next month on my February recap video, and I'm going to show you my TraderView account. That's TraderView.com and view is spelled V-U-E. There's a link in the description and a link in the YouTube banner. If you use those links, it'll help support the channel. You can sign up for a membership. It will give you all the metrics you need to know about your trades, which will help you make better decisions in the markets based on the performance of your strategy in the past. Super important, check it out. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.